Today, join me to learn how yarn is made from raw fiber to the yarn on corn. Get a close and personal view to see how it's done from acrylic and blended yarns today. Flow room is the first step of yarn production, where raw fiber is open, clean, mixed, and even. Firstly, fiber are picked up by the bill opener. Initial opening and blending occur at this time. The fiber are transferred to the following mixture and blender by airflow for further cleaning, blending, and dust removal. Till now, the fiber are prepared for the next cutting process. Carding has been called the foundation process of yarn manufacturing, in part because at this stage, the loose and oriented fiber first takes on a textile form called a sliver. A series of Y-covered cylinders are used to straighten and further clean the fiber. The fiber is then formed into a uniform web, which is condensed into a loop-like sliver and placed automatically in a container in a organized way. Here we come to the drawing frame section. The draw frame has four major purposes. Equalizing, stretching, blending and weight control. Usually six to eight cutting slivers are fit into the draw frame and are made into a single sliver. You can see the slivers before draw frame are not quite straight and relaxed. On the other side of the machine, all of these beans are coming out as two separate moving slivers into rotating beans. This is laying down the slivers flat in an organized way for the next draw frame machine. The visual difference from before drawing to after drawing is remarkable. Cutted slivers must go through different draw frame two to three times. The more it goes, the evenier it becomes. After the second or third drawing machine, it's now ready to move on to the next process, which is called rub roofing. Rub roofing is now going to organize the yarn to be prepared for spanning in the next step. The rub roofer takes the slivers from the beans and combines two beans together. It gives it a small twist to hold the slivers together, that is just enough for the spanning process. It's creating large rub roofing coins that will be placed above the spanning machine in the next process. The fibers are rooted onto these coins. Once the rub roofing circle is done, the machine stops. The operator collects the coins into a movable cart for the spanners to come on again. After collecting, the empty coins will be reloaded again for the next roofing circle. It's now time to move to spanning. There appear to be hundreds of thousands of spanners at the Shenron Textile. Above the machines are slowing, rotating rub roving coins. The slower the rotation, the thinner the ply of yarn, the quicker, obviously, the chunky the ply. The spanners are making one ply of yarn each. They are taking the fibers from the rub roving coins and applying the spanning twist. The bottom collection spindles are rotating extremely fast in comparison to the rub roving coins above. The spanning machine are extremely condensing the rub roving yarn from the thicker ply to a very thin ply of yarn that has strength. By comparison, you will notice that during the same process, there are extra horizontal coins on the top, which is actually the curl and are twisted around by the vertical rub roving coins. The yarn formed in this way is called Coin spoon yarn, which used to enhance functional properties such as strength, durability, and stretch comfort. Now it's time to move to the next process, winding. Winding is the process of creating large yarn coins from a number of small ring bobbins in order to make sure of yarn in subsequent machinery. As you can see, the small ring cups are automatically fit to the flex tree where the small ring cups start their journey of winding. The small bobbins are unwound, and meanwhile they are forming bigger yarn coins above. 
in order to get good quality yarn coins. Winding speed and winding tension should be maintained in the right way. All yarns are originally spun as single yarns, but for certain end uses, single yarns may be twisted together to produce a plain yarn. This process is called yarn doubling, where two or more yarns are twisted together to form a single yarn. For example, here, they're making three plain yarn. There are three coins going to one double coin. The thin plies are being put together, but there's virtually no twist. You can virtually see how many plies the yarn is. It now must be moved to the next section of twisting. Twisting is the act of twisting the plies together to make up one strand of yarn. Here, the double coins are sitting inside the drum. The yarn is being put up and twist is added to the strand before warping it to the twisting coin above. The twist is so important to yarn. This is a science to ensure the twist is correct for the yarn. Once the twist is done, the twist coins will be packed for further process. For some reasons such as bleaching or dyeing, yarn coins are requested to be reeled in hank form. Then the yarn coin and yarn hank will be packed in a different way before loading to the container.